Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Crystal Blair. Our top story tonight yesterday saw the close of the trial of Nic Nicholas Godijan, who was found guilty of armed criminal action and the first degree murder of Dee Dee Blanchard. Our Jesse Emmon joins us to break down the week that was. Jesse? Yeah, Crystal, it was a long week for everyone involved in this trial. It was one that saw old footage, graphic details, and the testimony of Gypsy Blanchard, the woman Go to John loved enough to kill her abusive mother, Dee Dee. Day one of this trial featured footage from Nicholas Godijohn's original confession to the murder of Dee Dee Blanchard, something the defense did not attempt to disprove. Rather, they made an attempt to argue that Godijohn's autism kept him from comprehending the crimes he committed. The prosecution, however, was set on proving that Godijohn knew what he was doing prior to the murder. That may have been most strongly proven on day two, when a piece of evidence was presented showing Godijohn's interview with a reporter in January of this year. And I waited at least a minute and thought about if I really wanted to do it. That statement falls under the definition of first degree murder, which involves premeditation, a plan to kill. This was displayed within hundreds of text messages between Godijohn and Gypsy leading up to the night Godijohn killed her mother. Gypsy, darling, I'm 100% with the plan. Day three was highlighted by the testimony of Gypsy Blanchard, who was serving her own 10 year sentence for her role in the murder. Gypsy helped Godijohn plan the murder. In fact, she admitted to supplying the weapon. I supplied the knife. Where did you get the knife? I stole it from Walmart. And while the other testimonies on that day included psychologists for both the prosecution and the defense discussing his autism diagnosis and how that played into the event. Day four, the verdict. After closing statements, the jury deliberated for just over two hours on the fate of Nicholas Godijohn. We, the jury, find the defendant, Nicholas Godijohn, guilty of murder in the first degree. Now, yesterday it was ruled that Godijohn will serve life in prison without the possibility of parole for first degree murder. But there is one more part to look ahead to for this case, and that will come on February 22nd when there is a sentencing hearing set to determine what the sentence will be for the guilty conviction of armed criminal action.